Most asteroids and comets are harmless and will never pose a threat. They are only labeled as potentially hazardous objects, PHOs, if they are between 100 and 165 feet, 30 to 50 meters in diameter and their path around the sun brings them within 5 million miles, 8 million kilometers of Earth. But if they are on the course to hit Earth, then we should be ready with some plan to counter them, right? On September 26, 2022, NASA made history by successfully changing an asteroid's orbit for the first time. They crashed a spacecraft into the asteroid Dimorphos, a mission called the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, DART. Dimorphos wasn't a danger to Earth, but it served as a perfect target for testing this critical part of NASA's planetary defense strategy. Think about the possibility of spotting a dangerous asteroid years before it reaches us and nudging it off its path well in advance. This technology could save us from catastrophic events like the one that caused the dinosaurs extinction millions of years ago. Stay with us till the end of this video to know more NASA's DART mission. Let's start with a quick overview. DART, or Double Asteroid Redirection Test, is a project by NASA and Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab, along with partners from Italy, Japan, and the European Space Agency. DART aims to test a new way to protect Earth from asteroids. It's called Double Asteroid, because it involves a small moonlet, Dimorphos, orbiting a bigger asteroid, Didymos. Dimorphos is about 160 meters wide and orbits Didymos every 11.9 hours, staying around one kilometer away. This whole system orbits the Sun every 2.1 Earth years. In October 2022, Dimorphos came close to Earth, making it the perfect time for DART's visit. DART itself isn't flashy. It's about the size of a fridge and weighs only 610 kilograms. That's tiny compared to Dimorphos, which weighs around 5 billion kilograms. DART has one main tool, a camera called Draco, plus some sensors and a navigation system. It also carries a small companion spacecraft called Lycia Cube, made by the Italian Space Agency. Lycia Cube has its own navigation system and two cameras, Luke and Leia, to record what happens when DART hits Dimorphos. After launching on November 23rd, 2021, with a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, DART traveled for 10 months. As it got closer to Dimorphos, DART's navigation system took control. At about 90,000 kilometers away, it started following its final path. When DART was only 24,000 kilometers away, Dimorphos showed up on camera, just as a tiny dot. As DART sped toward Dimorphos at 22,000 kilometers per hour, it got a clear view of the moonlet and its surface. One image, taken just three seconds before impact, shows Dimorphos as a pile of rocks left over from the early days of the solar system. The last fully sent image was taken just two seconds before Dart hit Dimorphos, showing the moonlet up close. Then, there's a partly sent image interrupted by Dart's collision with Dimorphos. It's a bit eerie, but captures the intense moment when DART completed its mission in a flash. Right till the end, DART did exactly what it set out to do with incredible accuracy. It's a real testament to the smarts behind NASA. Here's the whole sequence sped up to show the final moments of DART's journey. You might notice some blurry bits in the images. That's because DART's ion thrusters caused some shaking making it tough for the camera to stay still. But think about it, it's mind-blowing how fast it all happened. DART hit such a tiny target, and some of these images are surprisingly clear. Imagine how fast the camera had to adjust to capture it all. Now I bet you're eager to know if the hit was a success. Well, no need to hold your breath. The answer is a big, resounding yes. Actually, it went even better than expected. Before DART's smash, 
NASA hoped for at least a 73-second change in Dimorphos's orbit. But guess what? The early data shows DART shaved a whopping 32 minutes off its orbit. Even accounting for a small margin of error, that's 25 times better than what NASA aimed for. Talk about impressive. The collision unleashed a crazy amount of energy, like setting off nearly five tons of TNT and left a crater up to 150 meters wide on the asteroid. And get this, Dimorphos was just 160 meters to start with, but why did the hit change Dimorphos' orbit? Well, it's all about how orbits work. The crash nudged Dimorphos closer to Didymos, speeding up its orbit. Scientists confirmed this by studying the light patterns from Earth-based telescopes and radar data from observatories in California and West Virginia. DART wasn't the only one keeping an eye on the action. Licker Cube, the small companion spacecraft, captured some incredible shots too. Remember, it split from DART two weeks before the crash to take its own photos. Just over two minutes after DART's hit, Lisha Cube zoomed past Dimorphos, snapping pics of the scene. Check out this intense image showing Dimorphos after the hit, with Didymos in the background. See those massive plumes of material? Some of them twist and turn, almost like vines. Scientists think this might have to do with the asteroid's makeup, similar to tests we've seen here on Earth. Here's another shot from Lisha Cube, showing Dimorphos off to the side. You can barely see the asteroid itself because of all the debris kicked up by the impact. But Lysia Cube and telescopes on Earth weren't the only ones watching. Hubble and the Webb Telescope also got in on the action, capturing stunning images of the plumes expanding around the asteroid. Just look at those rays shooting out. It's truly mesmerizing. Some of the observed streaks are curved and NASA is still determining why. Hubble captured the impact in visible light, while the Webb telescope used infrared, despite Dimorphos moving three times faster than Webb's tracking capabilities. The time-lapse shows the burst of light at impact and Webb's images of swirling plumes. Scientists will analyze DART's data, but HERA, launching in October 2024, will conduct a detailed investigation. Equipped with advanced instruments and two small satellites, HERA will study the impact crater and explore inside Dimorphos. This mission aims to understand object movements and enhance strategies to prevent future asteroid threats. Right now, we've only just scratched the surface of asteroid defense tech. But if you look at what DART has achieved, it seems like we're onto something big. So what do you think? Was this mission worth it? Do you reckon we'll need this kind of tech in our lifetimes? Let us know in the comments. Do like, share and subscribe for a treasure trove of interesting content on space science.